The business world is a bit of a strange beast that I don't quite feel like I belong to. <laughs> You can come through here. So we make a kind of smoked salmon replica basically out of carrots. It's amazing on a bagel, but you can also use it for canapes. And they're also making a chorizo, so it's a kind of uh, plant-based version of a Spanish sausage. So here we have the wooden flour and spices, and I add this dry mix into the wet mix. So these are going to be sausages? Yep, yeah, exactly. Flip devised this recipe for the vegan market back in 2018. I just wanted it to exist, so I decided to do it because nobody else was. She's very clever, yeah. Very talented. <laughs> I've always been alone between the sheets. And I would say goodbye. I'm walking some line Just between a creative know. life and a, and a business entrepreneurial life. Was she always in a hurry? Well, I'm not sure I'd say she was always in a hurry, but when she knew what she wanted to do, there was no Don't waste of time. I've been vegan for 26 years now. It's really easy to get overwhelmed by the problems of the world and to feel really negative and to go out and protest and be in people's faces and get angry and just get frustrated at the state of things. Well, maybe that's a stage, eh? Because you've been through the angry stage. Oh, well and truly. Did you? Well and truly. It's so much more sustainable and more positive to put something good into the world that can potentially make that change. When Flip became vegan at age 15, she put together a petition to save Hector's dolphin. And then her friends called her Flipper, and then it got reduced to Flip. And that became your, I guess, public persona, really, didn't it? Hiya. Hi, darling. Oh. That's a big hug. Oh, my gosh. You're really stuck in them. Did your, foot, did your feet grow today? So if you play, you can see what a difference these make. She really started working as a musician doing covers at quite a young age. And then, when she came back from Sweden, she came back with a bit of a broken heart. And I just sort of stayed in my room for six months and I think mum just got sick of it. So she said it to me at one point, okay, it's time to get up. Why don't you try writing a song? So I did. Like I just wanted to find a way to sing. I just felt like I wanted to tell stories and I wanted to sing out loud. That felt like an imperative. I could Leave at any time. And people kind of liked them, so I kept doing it. And then it became the thing I was doing. I the exit sign. And then eventually singing sad songs didn't feel like it was doing enough to save the planet. So I had to pivot into something that felt like every day I was going to be turning up and doing something that was going to make a difference. I'm quitting my life, cold turkey. I just wanted it to exist, so I decided to do it because nobody else was. I am my own customer, you know. I'm, I'm sick of having carrots and hummus. I'm completely done with that after years and years of it. I really want something that's actually delicious at the end of my day with a glass of Pinot. This is our most popular product. This is our plant pastrami. This one here is really good on platters, but also in sandwiches and things like that. This is our chorizo product. This is actually the first product that I ever made. This is the one that I started taking to every family event for about a year until my brothers said, yeah, that's delicious. I would eat that over traditional chorizo. So I, that's when I realized I was maybe onto something. All of this is about reducing our impact. Like the biggest thing that we can do to reduce our impact on Earth is to reduce or eliminate our meat and dairy consumption, including fish. So if we can offer a properly delicious alternative, why wouldn't you? Because it's too expensive. I'm being dead with advocate. Yeah, fair enough. But we, the only reason that those traditional versions of these are so cheap is because we don't value those things. We don't value our land and we don't value those animals. 
but I want to make it clear that we're at the luxury end of this type of thing. What we're specifically trying to do is offer something that is gourmet, that is luxury. This will become outward goods, packing, big machinery coming in here, it's very exciting. We're going to find greater goods in 130 countries in a few years' time. Or? Who knows? <laughs> the world is our vegan oyster. So the music's finished, really? Um, well, no. Uh, uh, no, it's not. It's just on poor. <laughs> Most of my guitar playing is teaching my daughter how to play guitar at the moment. Sleep, my darling, don't cry. My sweetheart, you'll be. Just fine till the morning.